Customizing a workspace is rather simple with the CUI. It's even easier to make a new workspace. A workspace is your user interface in AutoCAD. Everything you see here is my workspace. AutoCAD comes with a few workspaces out of the box. If you click down here on this little gear, click on the arrow, and you can see the workspaces that you have available to you. Out of the box, AutoCAD comes with drafting and annotation. That's your basic 2D interface, a 3D basics, and a 3D modeling. The 3D modeling has all of the 3D commands available to you, and the 3D basics has just the basic 3D commands. This one right here with the check mark on it, that's the current workspace that I have set up, and this is one that I've customized myself. Now you can quickly change between workspaces. Just find the one you want, select it, left click on it, and it will load the interface according to that workspace. It's that easy. So if you have a certain set of tools that you need, you can set that workspace up and use just those tools. And that's perfectly fine. This one I've customized myself. Another way you can customize things like this is the ribbon. You just left click, hold the tab, and move it to where you want. Another way to customize your workspace is to turn certain things on, like tool palettes. In this case, I like to have my properties palette open all the time. If you have your layer manager open, and you want to set it up a certain way, anchor it to the right. And when you get things set up the way you like it, you go to your workspace controls one more time, and you hit Save Current As. Now, I suggest that you always leave the default workspaces alone. Just leave them the way they are. Start with the one that fits your needs the most, make their changes, and do a Save As in this case. So what I'm going to do is save it over my BC Benton one because that's my customized workspace. So I'm going to select it, click Save, say yes, I do want to replace it, and here it is. Now I can load this up whenever I want and it will look this way. Now there are a few things that I kind of want to show you about the workspace interface right here. I just showed you the options here. You just pick the workspace you want to load, save current as, so that's how you save the workspace or you can go to the different settings here. Customize just opens up your CUI, so you can also edit your workspace this way. Find the workspace you want, right click and say Customize Workspace. So you select that. And then you go through these options here and you just select the items that you want to have. Don't want that, but I want this one. So I click on the box, turn it on, and I look over here. These are my ribbon tabs. So these are the ones that I want. What order do I want them in? You can just left click and drag it and put it where I want. There it is. Now, if I want certain toolbars, I can turn those on. Just find the one I want, left click on it. That'll put that on there. Same thing with menu bars or any partial customization files that I've created. When I'm finished, right click, exit custom workspace, hit apply. That will load the workspace. Click OK. And if it doesn't load properly, you may want to reload it again. But in this case, it did. And now I'm in my workspace the way I like it. If I go to these settings again, you can go to my workspace settings. Now here you can control how it looks. These are the different workspaces. I can set the current one right here through this option. I can click on these boxes here and whichever one I click on, that will show what's available to look at. So if I only want to see mine and I don't want to see these others, I can do that. I need to add a separator. I can add a separator. I'm going to turn all these back on. This way it kind of separates it and makes it visually different so that I can kind of organize the way my list looks. Now, these settings right here are very important. There are a lot of times during the day where you may or may not make changes to your user interface. Maybe you move a palette somewhere, maybe you close the properties palette, things like that. If you have the automatically save workspace and changes, then your workspace is going to be changed every time you change it. So if that's what you want, then turn that on. I typically turn that off because I like to have my default workspace the way it is. So remember, if you have this turned on and you make a change, your old workspace will be saved that way. So keep that in mind. Click OK. And when I come to my list here, now I see the separator kind of isolating my custom workspace so I can find it better, but I can always go back to my old ones whenever I want. Now if I say this display workspace label, it puts it right here in my status bar so I know which workspace that I'm working in. So there you go. That's the basics of making a workspace. You just essentially set it up the way you want and hit save. Remember though, a good practice in AutoCAD, if you customize anything, leave the default stuff alone. Make a brand new one that's yours. Give it a name that you can understand what it means and customize that one. That way, if something doesn't work right, you can delete it and go back to the default and you can keep working.